Hello, welcome to your virtual field trip here at the Ken Sealing Waterloo Region Museum. In this video, we'd like to get you thinking about what things were like here and then in the rest of Canada about 100 to 200 years ago. I'm here at our blacksmith shop to talk to you about the role that a shop like this and other workshops like this might play in a small community. That was essential for communities back then to have blacksmiths as well as other tradespeople like harness makers, butchers, millers, masons, all kinds of jobs like that. Because we're going to do a lot of things that will support the farmers and a lot of other people within the community. A shop like this is where you can come to for everything from horseshoes for your horses to fixing your farm equipment on the farm, tools for other tradespeople, hardware for around your house. There's all kinds of things you could make here. And so the blacksmith would be solving a lot of problems for other people in the community. The way I do my work is I work with steel. It's a very strong, very hard metal. And there's a lot of things you can do with it. The way I do my work is I will heat up a piece of steel like this in my fire. It's called a forge, which gets much hotter than any other fire you normally see. For one thing, I'm burning coal instead of wood. It gets hotter than wood would. I also have a machine here called a blower. It's blowing air down at the bottom of the forge. The more air, the more oxygen the fire gets, the hotter it's going to get. So it makes the metal so hot, it's going to start glowing just like this. When the metal's this hot, I can take a hammer, like this one, and I can start to shape it on my anvil. And with a big, heavy block of steel that I can use in all kinds of ways to shape metal. Well, in this piece, I'm hammering it a little tip, and I'm going to bend that down into a little curl. I'll hammer that into a little curl like that. And now I'm going to roll it into a bigger curl. This will be the first half of a little hook called an S-hook. And a hook like this I can use when it's done to uh, connect two clips to the chain or to hang something up on a, on a wall. It's a general hook. You can use it for all kinds of things. So that's the first half done. You can see though, it's changed color very quickly. So it's cooled off a lot. Now that it's not hot, it's too hard. It's going to be too hard for me to keep working on it. So I'm going to put it back in the forge. A lot of the shops will be important in every community. In the uh, European descendant communities, in the First Nations communities and in the communities of black Canadian settlers, there were a lot of blacksmiths doing very essential work in these communities. So it was something that everybody had in common, is that they needed the work of a blacksmith. Blacksmith solves a lot of problems for you. So a hook like this, this would be handy. If someone had a chain break, and they had two lengths of chain they needed to hold together just for a short time. Or maybe you needed to hoist something up in your barn and you needed something to hook onto. Maybe you just needed to hang something up on the wall just to keep it up and out of the way. Something as simple as this can help solve problems and provide essential services for these communities. Just like that, You've got a nice little hook. So that's the problem I can solve. I'd like to invite you to think about problems you might be able to solve at home. Maybe there's a problem that you could design something for, something that you could design that maybe someone could build to help solve a problem that you have, maybe a problem in your home, or a problem that you see in your community. Something that might be able to fix that problem. Maybe if you have some, uh, some things that you can use at home, maybe you can even build your design. It doesn't have to be a big problem. It could be something as simple as organizing things on a table or hanging your clothes up behind the door. So I invite you to try to design something and share your designs with us. And thank you for listening. We hope to see you soon.